In this video, I'll show you an easy way to use a system variable to make submit all quizzes easier for your learners. I think we can all agree that the submit all feature for quiz questions at the end of your e-learning course is a great feature and makes it easy for your learners to answer the questions that they know for sure and go back and revisit the other questions and even revisit the questions they've already answered. But one of the problems is that your learners don't always know which answers or how many answers that they've actually given. So I'm gonna show you today a neat way you can use a system variable that will display that information. It's really easy to use. Okay, so here's a very simple project that I've put together with some quiz questions related to the City of London. So as you can see from my button on the first quiz or second quiz question here, the submit all feature is activated. Just for reference, let's just go to our preferences window and I'll just review quickly how you do that. Very simple, you just select the submit all option and this of course will add back and skip buttons so that learners can skip a question temporarily until they've uh, had a chance to reconsider all of those uh, previously skipped questions. Now, when you set up submit, there's a bunch of parameters that are set up. So first of all, the dialog window will appear. It's called submit all. And if you've completely answered all your questions, you can say, uh, you have answered all the questions. What do you want to do next? If it's incomplete, it will say one or more questions is incomplete. Answer all questions to continue. And as you can see, the problem right away is obvious is that the learner doesn't know if it's one or if it's more or if it's many. So this is a neat little trick that will allow you to let the learner know how many answered questions there are as they're writing their, their assessment. So let me cancel out of here. And in this case here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my master slide. You could put this little object on every single slide in your quiz, but the easiest way is to actually place it on your master slide. So I'm gonna put it down here at the bottom. I'm just gonna grab a shape, a rectangle will do and I'm just gonna draw that on the slide right here in the middle. What we can do is place a similar object on all of our quiz master slides. Uh, I'm gonna make it 100% transparent so it doesn't stand out too much, and we'll just add some text here. All you need to do is type in something to preface this system variable. So I'm gonna say unanswered questions and we'll put a colon and we're going to click on the insert variable icon from my properties inspector here. It's not a user variable, it's a system variable and we're going to go down to the very bottom where we have the quiz info system variables. And it's actually the very last system variable in the entire list here. CP quiz info total unanswered questions. So, and you, you need to give it a maximum length. 50 is more than enough, of course, unless it's a huge quiz, but this should do nicely here. So now if I exit the master slide, you'll see this, of course, on all of my questions. So let's just do a preview and see how this works. So here we go, system variable that helps with submit all. Let's start. And as you can see, I have 40 questions. Currently all 40 of them, you can see question one of 40. Currently all of them are unanswered, but let's go ahead and start answering them. And you'll see that this unanswered questions bank here is updated every single time that I, sub I don't even have to submit all. I just move from one slide to the next. As long as I give each question an answer, it's marking it and letting me know how many unanswered questions are remaining. Of course, once you've published your project, don't forget you can send it out to your stakeholders and subject matter experts using Review My eLearning. You can capture feedback from multiple reviewers and see it all in the same place. Reviewers can even see each other's comments 
and you know exactly what slide in your course that feedback is for. Try out Review My eLearning for free by using the link in the description of this video so they know I sent you. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.